welcome to our sailboat. This is our house. Her name is Sojourner. She's a 1982 S2 9.2A. We've been living aboard since last July. We spent the winter cruising around in the Bahamas, but now we're back in Charleston, South Carolina. So this is our galley, which is just a little square. We have a two burner propane stove. We also have no oven, which is fine. We get by. But it's pretty small space. I have a very minimal kitchen. We only have like four plates and four bowls. Sometimes those, those <laughs> items get tossed into the ocean. This cabinet used to be, I think, like an ice box, but we just use it as a pantry. This is our fridge. It's 65 liters. It serves us really well. We use it for refrigeration. <laughs> and, and then back here is our quarter berth. It's technically like another place to sleep. We don't use it as that. We use it for storage. We have a lot of guitars. Guitars are all in here. It has our control panel and the VHF is, is here. That's this corner. And that brings us to the salon, which is also in this general area. It's really spacious and roomy. Patrick and I can fit on this long couch. This table can go away and then it can kind of be transformed into a full bed. It can also fold out if we have dinner guests over and stuff, um, which we don't. This is our wardrobe. This is where we go to the bathroom and sometimes take showers. This is the weaver, where I sleep alone because it's not very big and it's meant for like a little person. Okay, so I'll show you guys the inside of the boat while it's nice and clean and not overwhelmed with tons of gear for the trip. Um, the biggest thing that we've been working on this entire year, which has been a massive undertaking um, and was like halfway done when we did our 4th of July trip, was we have enclosed the head. And the main thing with that was we put a compression post under the mast. What was the big thing that you asked for? What was the one, the only thing you've ever asked for on the boat? The only thing I ever asked for, and now I have, is a hot shower. Hot shower. So, check it out. So this is our new custom called a wet head. So the entire floor is a shower pan. So, hot water here's our access hole and that's our manual black water pump over so we get rid of our macerator pump and we installed this manual pump and um, I like to eliminate electronics as much as possible on a boat so so I haven't finished everything in the v-birth yet um, there's a little bit of detail stuff I have to do, but one of the things we had done before the last trip that we never addressed is we made this nice cover um, for the to cover the anchor locker. We also installed these nice lights. I installed a USB charger for Camille on her side, and we put these slats in and insulated everything behind it um, with a radiant barrier insulation. So that's gonna help keep this cool and warm.
And now we're inside the boat. That's really all there is to the boat. Like, people are always giving us boat tours when we go on other people's boats. And it's like, okay, let me show you this room and that room. room. When people come aboard Tarka, it's like, okay, well, here's the boat tour. Okay, you've seen it. Let's go back outside now. On this side, we have our two burner stove. It's not gimbaled, so when we're sailing, this can be a really tricky thing to use. Behind that, we have our dishes over here. And this we store rice, pasta, couscous. So it's in the galley, it needs to be easy to access. We have two taps in the sink. Both of them are operated by foot pumps, which are down here. And back here is my favorite thing on the whole boat, probably, is the fridge. People are often surprised to find that I have a fridge, and it does a very good job. It's really well insulated. We have the nav station. It's not really a nav station on my boat, it's just... We got my radio with an AIS receiver on here. We can turn that on if we wanted to. Um, here's my chart plotter, which is just uh, an Android tablet. There's not much to it. Um, if I'm alone on the boat or if we're sailing, we sleep in these bunks here. A uh, cloth, a leaf off, comes up here and goes to the railings. And that keeps us from falling out of the bunk. Is in here, so I got two 12 volt batteries down here. And then under here, down there we got the bilge. Now let's move to the, the bathroom. Here we go. Okay, now we're in the bathroom. You'll notice that there's no door to our bathroom. Um, but we've made this little improvised door, so if we need to use a toilet, or if we have guests on board and they want some privacy, then uh, we can just close this. And now at least you have some privacy, but I mean like, <laughs> it's just a sheet. So you kind of got to get used to it to hearing things you may not want to hear. That brings us to everyone's favorite part of the boat. It's the very basic head, common in a lot of boats. Um, it's got a manual pump here. On the opposite side of the bathroom, while you're sitting doing your business, you can sort through the clothes over there. Um, and that brings us to the V-Bird. Pretty roomy, like it's more than six feet long as I can lay here no problem. Your feet kind of touch at the bottom like any V-berth on a boat. So wherever you're sleeping next to, you're gonna have to get comfortable with them. So we have a table on the boat, but um, it stores over here because if we have it out, it's almost always in the way. And it's uh, just the reality of a small boat is you can't have everything. But I'm glad it stores away nicely. So, you know, it's not in the way when it's not being used. Eventually the winds filled back in, and with it came the seas, both of which would continue to increase through the night. design galley. I love cooking and baking so it's really important to me to have a good stove with an oven. So this guy has, I just made cookies today, this guy has a little oven. If you crank it all the way up to as hot as it goes, it's hot enough to bake cookies and pretty much do anything else. Two burners, it's gimbaled, which is awesome, and I put in a bigger sink before it had a round sink and it wasn't as deep. This I got at a marine salvage shop for 10 bucks. It was awesome. We have saltwater foot pump is here. I made the saltwater a foot pump because you're more aggressive with saltwater when you use it. 
uh, whenever I wash dishes, they always get a f an initial salt water wash with soap and scrub, and then I go to fresh water just to rinse them off briefly. Technically an ice box, but ice only lasts about 24 hours in here, so I don't put ice in it, and I just use it as a vegetable box, and I usually leave the lid like that. Here we have control panels. You can see how simple my electronics are. This is the original Danish panel, which is really cool. And then this guy, you can flip around and tell you what the different batteries are doing. Right now they're charging, which is good because it's funny. Welcome to the main cabin. Don't get lost. There's a lot going on here, I know, but if you stick with me, everything's gonna be. I installed two fans that I found at a marine salvage store. They are two different colors, but that's fine. And so up here I keep charts and my wind vane paddle. You know, people talk about the hardships of living on a tiny boat, but I have been living out of a backpack for the past four years, so to me this is incredible that not only do I have my own space and it's private, no one else is going to poke around in it, but I can have things like my favorite books all in one place. Everything under here is tools, just regular boat tools that you might have on your boat. So this locker used to be, there was a counter with a sink and then lockers behind it but I pulled the sink out and when I built the top of this locker, I put in uh, some leftover plexiglass from when I redid my port light so the light shines into the locker. The berth is definitely the most comfortable place on the boat to hang out in my opinion because you have this huge four deck hatch and it just funnels the wind right through the hole. on a 28-foot boat. It's a very sweet little home, and it has pretty much everything a small apartment would have, except for a shower. So once you get out on the sea, things often start moving a bit. So we always make sure the boat is neat and tidy before we put the sails up. You can see our stove over here is actually on a gimbal. So as the waves roll, the stove rolls with it. And this is fantastic because it means that things don't fall off the stove as easily. Yeah, so a lot of things in the boat are set up to, to handle moving around all the time. All of the shelves have little bars across them so things don't fly out. Um, this hammock is really nice because it also kind of moves with the waves a bit. So we put all our fruits and veggies in there. This is our chart table, so in here we just have documents and papers and stuff like that. Over here, our tiny little galley, so my sink. Um, here's our fridge, which is actually really exciting. We just got it working. Aladino just fixed it. It had been broken all summer. Um, but now we finally have a fridge, which is going to change things a lot for us. It's actually a really good idea, as much as possible, to concentrate weight in the bottom of your boat rather than on the sides. So if you can put heavier things like cans, if you can put them lower down in the bilge, that's going to increase your sailing performance and even make for a safer vessel. So we do that as much as possible. Um, even underneath the benches, the weight storage is still pretty low in the boat. And up here, apart from the books, I mean, books are kind of the only heavier thing that we keep up higher. So moving forward, we have our bed up here. This is where Aladino and I sleep. It's quite cozy actually, it fits the both of us really nicely, there's lots of room. And then if we turn around, this is kind of a tight maneuvering, but in here is the bathroom. Super teeny tiny, there's the toilet, and then the sink actually slides away when you don't need it. 
So it is a very small space, but it's a very functional space as well. I mean, I was able to take all of my belong belongings on board. I didn't really have to leave much behind. Um, things just kind of hide away in all of the storage compartments which are hidden throughout the entire boat. And at the end, you're left with, yeah, something that doesn't look like there's that much stuff hidden away, but in fact, there's tons behind all of these settees. Behind here, there's more storage, so. It's very well designed, and a lot of boats are. I mean, boats are generally are generally very intelligently designed to maximize use of space. I think it's really cool seeing how well space can be used if you really plan out every square inch of it, which is what they've done and what Aladino did as well when he uh, when he rebuilt the boat. He did a few changes to maximize even more space.